Hmm. Reselling at any age. That is the question. And as we ponder it, you can do it at any age. The cap guy here, I'll be 62 next month. I've been retired from UPS for three years in sales. And now, a year ago or a year and a half ago, I decided to go full time. Although I do get a pension, it's you can't live on it totally, but you can live on it. You know what I mean? So I didn't have to do this full time, but I decided to venture into it. And this past year in 2020, I fell just shy of, of six figures on eBay. And that's the only platform I sell on. But you can do it at any age. And I'm living proof. At 60, almost 62, I'm doing it seven days a week. So you can do it at any age. Now, obviously, the people that have the energy are the younger bunch. But us old folks can do it too. And we do. I uh, grew up in Austin, Texas. I joined the Navy and served my country for four years, traveled the world, lived all over the country in the transportation industry for 35 years, the last 20 with overnight slash UPS freight. And now I do this. So is there life after retirement? Sure. Sure there is. And it keeps you busy. It keeps you active and thinking all the time and looking for that next treasure hunt. That's what's really good about this. And you're making some bank. You're making money, folks. So, question number one. That's how. That's it. 2004 to now. And I'm continuing on. I am eligible for Social Security. But because of my eBay success, I'm, I'm going to postpone it. And keep doing eBay as long as I physically can. And making good money. Um, the second question. What unique challenges at my age? Well, obviously... I wouldn't say it's energy, but at 61, you're, you're tireder than you are at 30. And uh, so, you know, you got to take it. Like I said, I work seven days a week. I'm up at 7 a.m. Of course, I have a YouTube channel. And then I also do my shipping and, and uh, go sourcing. And I, I don't do it as much as I did, but I'm still sourcing. And, and the problem with my sourcing is I do it more than I list. And I do list a lot, but I don't, I source more than I list. So you got to be careful with that. Um, at my age, I love to source, but everybody loves to source. That's the favorite part of sourcing. But you got to be careful. And you got to be careful with getting too much stuff and not moving it out the door. So that's probably the challenge is I need to be listing more. And it has nothing to do with your age. It just has to do with your, you have to do it. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Burn. Number three, um, what are the best parts? It's the money, folks. It's it's going out and finding the treasure and giving items. To me, eBay is like memories. And being an older person, I have a lot of memories of things that younger folks aren't even aware of. Phones that weren't cell phones. They were dial phones. We didn't have cable. We didn't have video games. We had other things. And vintage things like toys and shirts and bring back memories of really good times in our lives as our in our younger years for those of us that are older. So, yes, you can you can uh, enjoy that part of it. That's what I enjoy is the hunt. But I also enjoy making money and supplementing my income. And you can do it part time. You can do it full time and be successful. Um, you put into it and the effort and you're going to get it out. Because unless you put in effort, you're not going to get anything back. So you have to do that. Uh, my advice for a younger me, uh, in eBay related, I would say that before you start selling, you really need to do your research or know people that are doing it, watching other YouTube channels and learning from those channels, what you need to be looking for, uh, doing a lot of research, not only on eBay, but other platforms and see what's hot what's selling, um, and do the comp in the eBay sold listings of items that you can buy and sell that make good money. Vintage ball caps. I don't just sell ball caps, even though my name's a cap guy, but I made over $5,000 on ball caps last year, and I had no returns on ball caps last year. And we're talking used ball caps, folks. Plush, makeup, uh, video games, 
All those things are going to make you a bunch of money. But there are so many other products that I've learned, and this is a continuing process. You're going to learn as you go, and nobody knows everything. I don't care how long you've been selling, you're going to learn. And it's just by comping, watching other people, seeing what they're doing and picking up, what's hot, and grabbing unique vintage stuff, that the, the things that people want memory-wise uh, to keep and have again. Um, for an older me, what would I say? Um, for me, it would be to list more and not source as much. Uh, I, when I first started, I got into clothing really heavily, jeans and Ralph Lauren polo shirts, and I'm sl I've slowed down on those, And but I'm still looking for the vintage t-shirts aspect of clothing and some of the vintage jeans, your Jordache, your vintage Tommy Hilfiger, your uh, uh, Rocky Mountain jeans that the ladies used to wear, rock revivals, those kind of things. You, you still want to look for those. But clothing I'm trying to back out of, and I sell a lot of shoes. But ball caps and plush and video games are probably my top three that I made money on last year. So those are the things I look for. But an older me, I just need to slow down and and take it a little bit easier. Um, still working seven days a week because I ship every day and I discuss on my channel every day what I do. And the transparency is there so you kind of get an idea of how much I'm making uh, daily. And I have set goals. And that's the other thing. You got to set goals. You got to have goals on how much you want to make, how much you want to list. And before you do all this, you need to be as out of debt as you can if you want to go full-time. If you're part-time, um, I suggest still working on that debt and keeping it low because you want to reinvest what you're making, part, at least part of it, back into your eBay business and scale it. Buy things that are multiple in one SKU. That makes it easier. I do a lot of one-offs, which makes it kind of hard sometimes, but I make really good money. When you can buy an item for a dollar and sell it for fifty dollars, those are home runs. So you wanna you wanna look for those kind of items. But those are one offs. The uh, the the multiple items with SKUs, and if everybody's doing it, like Nike shoes, um, there's a lot of competition in the in the profit margin. Uh, you want your return on investment to be really good. So again, do the research and watch other channels. Um, collaboration. I mean, collaborate with other, because I'm on YouTube, I collaborate with other channels and it's a great community to support each other, especially when you're a small channel like I am and you're growing. Um, so those are the things that you need to do. Um, there's a lot of good people in this community. And I would say number six, uh, my favorite things to source. I started when I started in 04, it was just mainly sports jerseys. I know a lot about those. Um, helmets, things like that. But over the last couple of years, I've learned a lot about Mary Kay makeup. I've learned a lot about ball caps, um, video games, and like I said, plush. I still pick up jerseys when I can find them, but you've got to find things that are common that you're going to come across. Vintage clothing, t-shirts, um, other vintage clothing pieces. Those are things you definitely want to be looking at too. So, um, but research, find unique items. Don't buy for yourself or what you think is good. You got to think about what other people are wanting. And that's going to be kind of be all over the uh, place. But reselling at any age, folks, if you're young, get out there and do a part-time. Make some money at it. Start in your own home with your own stuff. Friends, family, sell their stuff. Work out a deal with them. And then uh, if you're older and you want extra income, you can make money. And like I said, I almost made six figures last year just shy of it. And you can do it too. That is in sales. So it can really supplement your income, whether it's your social security, whether it's your pension, but you can make money doing it and you can do it at your leisure. You have your schedule free. I raised $3 by myself. So I don't have anybody at home. I have all the free time to do what I need to do to do this business. And I, I love it. Although at my age, it does get tiring. So, but It'll keep you active, folks. And that's the key when you get older. You want to be active. And uh, make some extra money. Put it in the bank. And uh, you can go to Maui or other places you want to enjoy that maybe you couldn't do on just your Social Security or pension alone. So I hope I've helped. And uh, I appreciate you tuning into this aspect of the eBay business. Have a great day, folks.